What widely accepted Reddit tropes are just not true in your experience? The typical know-it-all top comment being right. It's easy to fall into that trap until it's about something you actually know about. Edit OK, why does this have 12k upvotes and 4 awards? It's like 2 sentences. It isn't inevitable or normal for you to be pulling muscles and having pains doing simple shit in your 30s. You're not getting old. You got sedentary. That you can never have friends at your job, everybody is just waiting to stab you in the back for that next promotion or whatever. It portrays everyone, besides you, the main character, as a mindless, selfish corporate drone, who only thinks about themselves. I spend most of my time at work, why wouldn't I want to get along with the people there? Open marriage and polyamory are not widespread in the liberal world, but niche group of people. You don't have to divorce your wife if she bought a $200 laptop without consulting you first. That if someone yells at you or loses their temper once, they're a violent person who can never change. If you visit UK subreddits, you'd be forgiven for thinking the whole country is full of antisocial people who hate their colleagues and are scared of the slightest confrontation. In reality, most of us are pretty normal. That empty shops selling actual stuff are all probably money laundering fronts. Edit, many, many replies to this are kinda proving my point. That therapy is the answer to all questions and problems. Yes, therapy can help. But most of the time simple thinking and communicating get you all the way. Furthermore, therapy is not easily available in large parts of the world, even in Western societies like Germany. Everyone's being gaslit. I've got a twofer, mental illness is either super easy to fix with healthy lifestyle, or it's terminally crippling and kills you entirely. Many many of us are out there doing it alright but still just struggling slash coping. Not everyone you don't get along with is a narcissist, sometimes you just don't get along. I also don't hear that term thrown around so casually in real life. R slash buy it for life would have you believe that unless you shell out good money for every last thing you own, you're bound to regret it once the cheaper option inevitably fails on you within a ridiculously short period of time. Let me tell you all something. There is no need to buy a $50 water bottle instead of a $10 one unless your preferred method of handling is to drag it across asphalt to and from work daily. There is also no need to drop $300 to $400 on a pair of REAL leather work boots unless your work actually requires it. Just because someone lies to you it doesn't mean that they are gaslighting you. Gaslighting is different than just lying and it's used in abusive slash controlling situations by manipulative people. Bob from accounting who denied eating an extra piece of cake isn't a dangerous man who is gaslighting everyone in the office, he just likes cake. Taco Bell leading to immediate diarrhea. I haven't had it in years but used to have it semi-regular, not once had it led me to gastrointestinal distress. So either Redditors have really delicate constitutions or Taco Bell equals blowing mud is just lazy humor for the collective. The AITA final judgment can be wrong. Not one time in 39 years of life has a woman give me a hard time for opening a door for her. Not one time in 39 years have I so much as gotten the side eye for interacting with kids in public without a woman near me. The other day there was this post on r slash woodworking where this guy was showing off this beautiful cabin he made with a sawmill. I went to the comments in hopes he would divulge some of the various processes involved. I dream of owing my own sawmill someday to make tables and things but it never occurred to me I could build a cabin entirely on my own. Absolutely incredible. Anyways, I was interested enough that I went through almost every comment and towards the bottom there were people bitching about how close it was to the creek and how the trees surrounding it could fall on the cabin. The dude was very poised in his responses and kept pointing out that it was built on stilts and all things in life require risk, this one was one he was willing to take considering it was a dream of his. Point being, Redditors tend to be incredibly cynical and risk averse to a fault. On top of that, 
there is always an incredible number of comments from people that have no freaking clue what they are talking about but they say these things with such confidence. The next time you come across a post involving a particular hobby of yours, just head to the comment section and you'll see what I mean. That the answer to everything is worst case scenario. Break up. Never speak to them again. Cut all ties. Slow down there, see biscuit. Let's try some solutions first before setting fire to everything. Spend any amount of time on a dating or relationship sub and you'd think the average man and woman are just seething with hatred toward each other. Maybe I just have an exceptional group of friends from both sides, but thankfully that doesn't represent my reality.